Hey Distillers and Dolls, my name is Alice Guy and welcome back to Coming Out on Top. This time we're going through Brad's route and basically we had to go all the way back to the first choice with him. Um, hey, I'm here to help you with your class, not write your papers for you. Look, I don't know. I am so sick of you spoiled athletes and the glorification of a violent sport when our nation should be focused on education. You know, burning. I see. 35 page? Oh my god. Did you hear anything I just said? I can't go higher than 45! No, stop trying to bribe me! Alright, you made your point. You better go. We're just wasting time. Come on, don't you even want to give it a shot? Prove to yourself that you can do it? No. Why not? I don't get it. I'm gonna have to read books and stuff. How awful. Then like, write about them. Can you believe this place? Exactly, man. Who needs that hanging over your head? So the other are standing for the D-Line's tackling dummy. Come on, it won't be that bad. What about the days when you were a good student? Ah, oh, hell, my brother must have told you that, huh? Bill just thinks he knows me. He really doesn't. I can't write with crap, man. Okay, so it's been a while, but most things aren't good on the first draft. We'll make it better on the revisions. Brad looks doubtful. And knock in the door and interrupt your conversation. Here comes the birch. What do you have to offer? Brad looks interested in what you have to say. I can provide him with the purpose of this entire university in the first place. An education. You... Are you for real? You know, it might sound corny, but you guys are here for a reason. Why not take advantage of it? Brad, listen to me. Even if you make pro, you don't know how long your career will last. Wouldn't it make sense to have a backup plan? Are you listening to this guy, Brad? Jesus H! Daisy snorts with laughter. Brad remains silent, looking uncomfortable. Brad? Well, I don't know. You might have a point. Oh! <laughs> what? No, seriously? I mean, maybe I could try the whole schoolwork thing for a little while. Really? Don't get too excited. I said maybe. Let's see how it goes. Daisy turns to leave. She pauses briefly, flashing the most disingenuous of smiles. When you change your mind, you know where to find me. She stops to blow Brad a kiss. What about me? She shows her turtle look as she slams the door. <laughs> Good riddance, Ryo. So you're gonna give this a shot? Like I said, we'll see. You won't regret this. Brad sighs as he stares at the stack of books on his desk. I already am. <laughs> you and Brad sit down to go over his syllabus and brainstorm some essay topics. Brad sighs, fidgets, and complains. You tutor him for two hours, not entirely sure if anything you said made an impression. You make $60 a decision. You now have a total of $100. Thursday. You head over to Brad's after class. Finding the door unlocked, you head upstairs. The door to Brad's room is open. Hello? You hear Brad's muffled voice behind the door to his bathroom. Mark, that you? I just hopped out of the shower. Give me a sec. Uh oh. You set your backpack near his desk and look around. You see waves in the corner. You reach over to pick one up. It refuses to budge. Holy crap. Hi. Holy crap. <laughs> hey. Oh. Uh, hey. Can you toss me that shirt behind you? You toss him the shirt, praying he doesn't notice the swell in your jeans. Thanks. Well, you ready to take the books? Oh, can't wait. <laughs> Brad says at his desk as you pull up a chair behind him, beside him. His skin glistens, still streaming, steaming from the shower. He sides his laptop closer to him. So tell me what to write, man. I'm not writing this for you. But you're not writing it. I'm writing it. You're just, you know, telling me what's right. Okay, type this then. Brad's large knuckled hands hover above the keyboard. He looks at you with anticipation. Me, Brad. Me, big dummy. Oh, me sad. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> he can take a joke. I'll give him that. I said I am not writing this for you. No, of course you aren't. Did I say that? You dictate and I'll just type it out. See the difference? That way I'm writing it, you know? Putting in the effort. His shit-eating grin and questionable logic makes you simultaneously want to punch him and kiss him. I know that feeling. <laughs> Seriously, what's the point of English comp? Oh, you're screwed if you get injured and your football career comes to a grinding halt. That's the point. You know, even if you're a job, you can't limit your education to sports. Stop making excuses for yourself, Miller. You're on the path to becoming a semi-literate moron. It's good if you get injured. Look, maybe in the grand scheme of a possible NFL career, school seems like a big waste of time to you. But you're not invincible. Your body's taking a serious beating every time you practice or play. 
one bad injury and it's over. You know how easily that can happen, and how quickly you can end up being a washed up jerk with nothing to fall back on. I mean, I screwed up my shoulder, that's all it took to keep me from playing water polo again. I could have used a scholarship, you know. Instead you ended up tutoring dumb jerks like me. Exactly! Shit, that's tragic. It's a fucking nightmare, these Snickers. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Look, let's get the basics down first. Everything else will fall into place. Like starting at the... Like starting at the 23. Yeah, sure. As you discuss the essay requirements, Brad fidgets, rocking his chair back and forth. He twirls a pencil through his red locks, his eyes dancing with amusement as you speak. As you talk, your flummox, by the way, his eyes pierce into yours. You're not ridiculous, but it feels like he's flirting with you. He's just friendly, right? He's scooching... He's he scooches in, bumping his knee against yours. He's trying to get out of this again. Super, super friendly. Hey, are you listening to anything I'm saying? I sure am. You can feel heat radiate by your knees touch. Okay. Put your hand in his thigh. Ha! You were doing it on purpose, you asshole. <laughs> okay. I was hoping he was actually doing it on purpose. Okay, fine. I'll pretend I don't notice. You feel your dick swell. So, did you have any other questions? He seems completely oblivious to the leg situation. Well, at least he doesn't notice your boner. <laughs> okay, well, these rules just seem stupid. Like, why I should organize my essay the first way instead of the second? Because you want to drive your point home. Drive it home? Yeah, but first, first you have to ease into it. Ease into it. Yeah. Slowly at first, let the reader get used to you, get a chance to adjust. Uh-huh. Then when he's caught his breath, stop pounding it in. Pounding it in. Uh, okay. okay. Mark, you want him gasping for breath, grabbing his ankles, panning in your ear, begging for it like a little bitch. And when he wants it bad, he is like a nail needs hammering. Give it to a friend, give him the release he needs. <laughs> Softly trampling. Oh? Whoa, okay. I think I got it. So yeah, anyway, make sure you have your paper ready next week. I'll check it before you turn it in. You head downstairs. You're about to open the front door when you hear a voice behind you. Dude, Tor! Hey, Roman, what's up? I don't know. You tell me. Daisy and I had a bunch of sessions scheduled this semester and she's been dropping them one by one. She's acting like nothing's happened. Don't you think that's a little strange? Uh, I guess. Roman, why aren't you in the weight room right now? I'm just asking due to a question, you preachy son of a bitch. Well, you got more important things to worry about. Get out of here! We'll continue this later, due tour. Matthews, a word if you will. What's up, you? It seems that woman Daisy is no longer frequenting this house with regularity. Is it unreasonable to attribute it to your influence? Well, don't be modest, Matthews. Your symbol of change, the sign of a new era. Whatever the cause of a departure is, I'd like to end your prohibitionary period and assign you as Brad's official tutor for the rest of the semester. Hmm, school's getting kind of busy, you missed him, and I'm oh, no, 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 of course. I'm here to help Brad to seat. I'm glad, Matthews. See you next week then. Thursday. All week long, you've been thinking about Brad in a way you should, you know, you shouldn't. You could feel mounting excitement as your tutoring session with him approaches. Christ, I gotta hold. Gotta get a hold of myself. Let's just jack off, I guess. Is that to work one out? Dude, what the hell is taking so long in there? I'm jacking off. Oh, uh, okay. See, the guy I'm tutoring, he's pretty hard. Okay, forget. And I can't concentrate when I'm around him. I didn't want to. I figured if I put one up before I show up today. Okay, never mind, dude. I'm sorry, you asked. <laughs> you went over to Brad's. After nobody answers for a minute, you try the door and find it unlocked. You let yourself in and climb the stairs. Sorry I didn't hear you come in, man. I've been trying to finish this. Before I can respond, Brad, looking miserable, hands you a yellow legal pad. You finish your draft? Nice! Go easy on me, okay? Aw, oh, you squint at the pad. Is this actual handwriting or hieroglyphics? You're not helping! Aw, oh, baby! It's okay, I'm sorry, man. I was just trying to calm your nerves. You got a pen? Brad hands you a pen. Be gentle. Okay, just give me a few minutes here. For the next several minutes, he watches you nervously as you flip through his essay, commenting, underlining, circling, crossing things out. You hand him back the notepad. Here. There are a couple of comments. 
There are like a million corrections. They're no big deal. Whoa, I suck. Oh no, no, hey, Brad, you do not suck. The draft is decent. It just has some structural issues, grammatical problems, spelling mistakes, errors of logic, and lack any kind of definitive conclusion, but otherwise, it's got potential. No. Oh. Look, the important thing to know is your ideas are all over the place. You should put your strongest point at the front and at the end of your essay. You need to start and end with a bang. Nothing says quality writing like papyrus. Eh, hey, papyrus! He cheers his lip, mulling this over. Yeah, I see what you mean. Kind of like how you were saying last week. Uh, when things got a little weird. I was just super passionate as all. Well. But yes. Okay, guess I'll try to make the changes. All my notes may look intimidating, but it'll be easier than you think. I'll explain them to you. God, I don't know. Come on, Melnick, are you afraid of this little paper? I'm just trying to recuperate from this blow to my ego. But okay, explain away. As you go over your suggestions, Brad's shoulders start to relax and he begins to breathe again. One by one, your patient, clear explanations give him the confidence that he'll be able to fix his writing. Okay, that doesn't sound too bad. I actually might be able to do this. Sure you will. It should take you a few hours, but by the end of it, it will be good to go. Damn, I think I learned more in this hour than all of high school. Really? Too bad I didn't have you around last semester. I could have been learning things instead of partying, getting A's instead of a bunch of D's. <laughs> all D's, huh? And a bunch of BG's. <laughs> too bad those don't count. <laughs> you laugh a little too hard. <laughs> Whoa, well, yeah, well, your semester sounds like it's some more exciting than mine. Ah, the blowjobs weren't all that. You struggled to feign interest. They weren't? Sometimes it's all about enthusiasm, <laughs> Nah, there was plenty of enthusiasm. It was my size. Sorry, man, now I sound like I'm bragging. Not at all, please go on. Please, 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 please go on. Well, most girls can get their mouths over the head, right? But they sort of give up after a few tries and jack me off. Quitters. <laughs> So it's not that great, and if they want me to... Oh look man, just forget it. He straightens up. Oh no, come on! Cause those wild knives are behind me now, right? You're keeping me focused on school stuff this semester. You're not, your mouth dry. You're glad that you're sitting down. All you can think about is Brad's monster rocket and your throbbing member threatening to tear a hole in your jeans. <laughs> there's no tutor... There's no tutor more pro than you, man. No <laughs> thanks, I try to keep it professional. <laughs> you're shifting your seat. Oh hey, email. Brad walks over to his laptop and shakes his head as he clicks on something. Speaking of tutors, this is like the 30th pic Daisy sent me this week. Turning the laptop towards you, he shows you a pic of Daisy in a g-string kneeling on a bed covering her breasts with one arm. Whoa. She's kind of upset you took a job, so she's been trying new ways to get my business. Brad notices your discomfort. As, he, as his eyes dip towards her crush, you realize he notices even more. It's okay if you're turned on, I know she's pretty hot. Don't worry though, she's not getting a job. You sit there with your mouth hanging open. He looks at you with a silly grin. I should get to practice. See you next week, man. Okay, just uh, make those changes tonight and turn in the paper tomorrow. You stumble out of the room. Some pro you are. Good job, Mark. You make 60 this session. You now have a total of 284. 58. No. You have a total of 285. There we go. Thursday. You head to the athletic house after your last class. After nobody answers, you try the door, find it unlocked, you let yourself in. The house is unusually quiet today. Brad? Come on up, man, I'm in my room. The wise old, the wise old floorboards creak as you climb the stairs. Steps. You open the door and peer into the room. It's empty. Where are... <laughs> Brad appears out of nowhere, scaring the shit out of you as he wraps his arm around your neck, putting you in a headlock. It's Nookie time, amigo! Who wants the Nookie? Who wants the Nookie? That's right, you do! <laughs> Brad forgets Nookie, you! It's not gonna rub your head hurts, but his steel cable arm around your neck feels rather nice. You squirm, only to end up shoving your face right into his armpit. <laughs> Brad laughs and waves something in front of your freaked out face. You have no alternative but look up at a paper. You see a red ADH scroll at the top of it. Holy crap, look at this! You, he yanks your face towards his. I swear I could just kiss you right now. You stare at each other for a s- You stare at each other. For half a second, you almost think you will. A brush press across his face. After a moment, he lets you go. <laughs> you stumble to regain your footing. Congrats, you- <coughs> Deserve it. I know I've been dragging my feet and acting like a total baby. Hey, I'm just glad you wrote it. You ready to do this again? Sure, if you help me. You know what? You know what? Wait a sec. 
The boy kind of spun and sprints out of the room. You stand there rubbing your neck, lightheaded. You're still standing, mouth half open as he returns, clutching two beer bottles. He offers you one. Let's celebrate. Aww. <laughs> Come on, I can, I can... Yeah, I can drink with him, thank God. Well, I suppose one couldn't hurt. You clink bottles and drink up. It starts to focus on the next assignment. Brad's giddy and distracted while his earlier resting hold has left you feeling heady and aroused. You don't know if it's a beer or your imagination, but he seems to be looking at you instead of his books. Your eyes meet more than once. The third time it happens, you lose your train of thought and stare back at him, your brain out of bush. You okay? His voice is low, quiet. You can hear yourself breathing. Yeah, can you just hold me down and shove my face in your armpit again? <laughs> Clear your throat! Uh, sorry, I'm just out of it right now. Me too. Maybe we should reschedule this. He grins and stretches, offering you a glimpse of his abs and his belly button as he scratches a spot on his stomach. Yeah. Huh, looks like Daisy's sending me something again. Another photo, huh? Brad hunches over his laptop and clicks. Not a photo, a link. She's got her own site if you can believe it. Damn, it has a video. We just have a break, right? He finishes his beer. You curious? I am. He clicks on something. A video starts to play on the screen. It appears to be Daisy seated on the edge of a bed smiling at the camera. Whoa, she's like practically naked. Practically. And now literally naked. The room becomes silent as she rolls onto her back. With one hand she grabs her breast, massaging it like a bacon kneading wet dough. Wet dough? <laughs> okay. You sit there listening to a sigh as you cough awkwardly. Well, uh, hang on, I'm gonna go grab another cold one. Brad pulls out of the room. You sit there wondering if she should excuse herself and go home. Your eyes idly wander over to his laptop screen. You see a small icon in the corner. It'll, its label reads birthdaysuit.jpg. Mm, what's this? Oh. Double click the photo for a quick look. Hot pounding, you open the photo. Hi, Brad. It's a shame I can't actually see the ass because it's censored. <laughs> nice. Don't you agree, Hamilton? What the Lord Almighty? How do I email this to myself? <laughs> you can press one by the end of the room. Nothing like a cold, frosty one after getting a B on your paper. No oh, shit. We scamper across a cup photo just as he pulls up a seat next to you. To your relief, Daisy's video fills the screen again, Brad fails to notice anything different on his computer. He does, however, notice something else as his eyes dart towards dart down to the bulge in your jeans. Enjoying the view of her. Uh, yeah, it's not the view you're thinking of. Let's not be a creeperino. Continue to be instead the naked girl instead. Daisy stares at you in a state of suspended animation. You're persistent, I'll give you that. But he's not into you, so back off. Her lustful expression looks so corny. You mimic it, grabbing your man to took a with you from Pow, you big bad man, make me hurt, make me sour, make me a fuck toy. Make me a what? <laughs> you press my body as you this room. You hook up your chest and pat it. Oh, nothing, just a look at this naked woman getting him super hard. <laughs> your eyes like on one another for a minute, neither of you speak. Daisy's whimpers finally break the silence. Brad finally shakes his head, laughs, and closes the video. He, wa he wanders into the bathroom and re-emerges with some toilet paper, which he hands to you. So, uh, since we didn't get shit done today, let's reschedule for tomorrow? You manage or not. Yeah, that's that has shake your legs. Oh. <laughs> okay, let's go back. Uh, yeah, do whatever you want, man. Yeah, just, oh, whatever, man. Sure, go for it. Brad gives you a glance before he disappears into the bathroom. The door shuts behind him with a click. Your brain does cartwheels trying to figure out the meaning behind that glance. Your heart rock hard. The thought of Brad beating off behind that door. You lower a hand immediately to your dicta just to relieve some of the pressure. Do nothing, I guess. <laughs> Taking a deep breath, you try to relax, your bone is slowly deflating as you watch Daisy get screamed, shoving the tittle further up her ass. Oh, whoop de doo. I've used bigger things to clean my ear. <laughs> After a few minutes, Brad emerges from the bathroom sans boner. So, I assume we didn't get shit done today, imagine not, had done so sick late. Now, this is odd, Matthews. Is it daylight savings already? Daylight savings? Uh, no, I don't think so. Then would you mind explaining why you are leaving early today? We uh, decided to take a break. Break? Are you trying to charge extra for these breaks? I don't remember authorizing this, Matthews. 
no, no charge. It's not a big deal. We rescheduled, rescheduled for tomorrow. Everything regarding bad needs to go through me. Did you forget? <laughs> yeah, well, we decided to take a pawn break. You know, you could probably use one. Wait, what? Is he 16? Are you his father? No to both? Then fuck off. Really? That's the right one? Okay. You and I lost our father years ago. Oh. That's why. Oh, indeed. Oh god, I'm sorry. Indeed, we lost him when we got separated at the state fair. Oh. Brad and I went to get something to drink. Those carbonated juice things in the shape of fruit with a crazy straw. No other ones. Dad told us to be careful, said he'd be right back. We'd be right there when we got back. Except when we returned, he wasn't there. He was gone. We searched for him for six hours. Brad was crying. I tried to comfort him, tell him it would be all right. That, that daddy probably just went to the bathroom. Then eventually, we found him. Turns out he was playing the shoot the clowns in the mouth with a water gun game. Had a 14 game winning streak going on, going on at one point. Brad and I both got the large, top level prizes. But the point is, I knew I'd always need to be there for Brad if something terrible happened. I guess you feel responsible if anything goes wrong with Brad's life. I'm the only one in this cesspit with his best interest in mind, so yes, that would be the case. Look, he's really making an effort for you. I mean, if anything, you could show your support instead of constantly giving him shit. Support? Hmm, like what sort of support are we talking about here? I don't know, I hear he likes cake. Hmm, perhaps you're right. Perhaps I've been too hard on him. Still keeping my eye on you though. Okay. Friday! Oh, that was easy. I'll see you guys next time. See ya!